Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the best video player for Windows. So right now, as you can see right there, I have five tabs here, because we're gonna rank them top five. Going at the first of the list, or rank top five, would be DivX, or D-I-V-X. Some of it call us DivX. Anyway, DivX is one of the first video player. Personally, I've used this before. And it claims to be the first on HAVC format and support all popular formats such as MP4. I think they also support MKV, that is for OBS. And by the way, regarding OBS, please check my video on how to use that. Anyway, the only cons for this one is it is played by ads. It is ad supported. So whenever you open up your video player, such as this one, especially if you're watching long movies for two hours or an hour and a half, ad supported especially when you're logged into the internet they will pop up on your screen that's the only cons here anyway it's for free and the latest version of divx is right here divx 11. and to be honest i cannot really see the pricing as of now so i had a screenshot took a um research about it so let me just pull it out so there we have it so for the free trial you're gonna have these features for the Cloud Connect and especially for the Video Pack and DTS plugin, you're gonna have a 15 day or 2 weeks trial. For the DivX Pro, you're gonna have everything, of course. So, these are the difference and how to use them. Now, moving on to number 4, let me just go to it right now. So, on the number 4 list or fourth of the list would be GOMLAB or GOMLAB. So, the main feature to play is, or the main feature of GOMLAB is to play broken media files and find missing codecs. I want to highlight that again. You can play broken media files corrupted or even missing codex files on GOMLAB. And the movies and TV regarding this one is no problem at all. Now if you go on the business tab right here, basically this is gonna be the pricing. You're gonna have a one year license for this one. And for the GOMCAM business, especially if you're using VR, it's gonna be $33. I suggest still go for the free trial, this is how it should look like. Even though this is a $20 payment, this is the same as the free trial um, user interface. Again, before I move on to the next one, just want to let you know that it can play broken media files. That is pretty awesome. Anyway, moving on to the third of the list, it's going to be called Movies and TV. Currently, I am on the Microsoft App Store as of now. If you're familiar or you're running, Windows 10 or 11, Movies and TV is probably on your operating system as of now. And it should look like this. So currently this is Movies and TV. And basically if you click on the pencil icon there, you can trim. You can draw. You can create a slow motion video. You can edit in photos and save photo from video. Basically take a snapshot. And you can advertise everything here. For example, if you open up the movies and tv and you're not really watching there is a list like this one right here the screenshots there is a list of movies you can watch inside it if you're familiar with netflix hulu or disney plus it's much like that one that being said let's move on with the next or the second on the list we're gonna call it pot player pot player is being run right now on my personal laptop and please take note that i really like this player so much if you might ask why because as of now it still provides peak or maximum performance using DXVA, CUDA, or QuickSync. Get the best of what you have. And the best part about Pod Player that I like so much is it still supports 3D. Take note, guys. Pod Player Player or Pod Player still supports 3D. It also supports pixel shader, online streaming, and also Blu ray supports. Of course, if you have connection with 3D or especially the live stream 3D, you can play it here. As you can see on the advertisements right there, regarding pod player, they're really advertising their 3D and enhanced um, quality. And that being said, you can also check on the features here, as you can see more advanced features. All of the famous audio files can be run here. You have MP4, you have DVD, TV, HDTV, and so on and so forth. You can also support Direct 3D9. I'm not quite sure what's that, but please take note about that one. 
Again, you can also text for the text subtitles. It also supports Blu-ray subtitles and so much more. And now let's move on with top one on my list. It's gonna be called VLC Player or VLC Media Player. So VLC is a free and open source cross-platform multiplayer and firmware that displays most of the media multi files as well as DVDs, audio CDs, VCDs, and various streaming protocols. So guys, why is this the best or top one on the list for me? Because as you can see right there, it is an open source free to examine source code. This is also available on Linux, Mac OS, or MacBook, or any other devices, basically everything. You can use official VLC media player. Even though this video focuses on Windows, I just want to highlight that as you can see right there, it is available across all devices or mostly across all devices. It can play anything without the need of additional codecs. That's also one thing that I love about this one. As you can see right there, runs on all platforms, completely free, plays most codecs with no codec specs needed, plays everything, may it be files, disk, webcams, devices, and of course, live streams or streams. You can also create your playlist here, convert files, and again guys, you can play your disc here. Pretty awesome, right? So those are the top 5 for me, and VLC is the top 1. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.